All okay, right. but right now it's time for Let's Eat. Let's Eat is brought to you by Why Cook. Eat local, fresh, and healthy. Check out whycook.com for that local restaurant, food truck, or chef in your neighborhood. Yeah, and here we are checking out a really cool place that's opening a new location. Yes. It is Cooper's Hawk. And this is where they actually make the dishes around the wine right. list they have, which is really good. It's normally the other way around, right? Yeah. They pair the wine to the food. Here, right. they pair the food to the wine. I cool. love it. I love uh, it. Yeah. So let's go live out check to Cooper out. House and check out the man right there. Uh, hello, Mr. Ed. How are you? I'm uh, very well. How are you both doing today? Doing well, great. Doing I'm good. in heaven right now because you're standing at... <laughs> a, a beautiful wall there. I, I I would just love to have this in my house. The wine wall. Oh my gosh. What? Do you, <laughs> yeah. how, how many wines yeah. do you have there? So at any given time, we carry about 50 plus wines um, wow. at Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant. And you know, right now, currently, we're in our Napa style tasting room where. You can come in and you can do a, a few different tastings. So we have a, a luxe style tasting, uh, we have a variety tasting, and then we also have a sweet tasting. And with that, you can kind of go through 50 different varietals, obviously not all at once, um, <laughs> and try out, find what wine you like. And like I said, or like you guys mentioned earlier, you know, that pairs perfectly with our food too. So, um, and then awesome. if we look over here to the, to the side as well, um, we also have, you know, mentioning Mother's Day, right? An artisanal market where you can come out, you know, have a tasting, eat some food, which we'll check out later, and then buy mom a, a beautiful gift in our artisanal market. Oh, hey, that's hey, awesome. Edmund, can I ask you something? And they always get in trouble for this when I ask about the wine. But have you ever, like, decided yeah. to one time do, like, how can I say, the, the, the cheap wine? Have you ever thought about doing Boone's Farm Night, <laughs> wine in a box, you know, stuff like that for, for those Brad, people? no what? way! I just, I just wondered. Yeah, you know, I, I've got a thing where I don't really like headaches in the morning, so I try to I try to keep it a little elevated from a Boone's Farm, but uh, I've got no problem throwing that in a dish at home to keep it a little more frugal. Uh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. But, but Edmund, Edmund, tell me about your guys' process with the wine, because it's not Boone's Farm. It's no, not it's not. In a no. box. It's a really, really great quality wine. Tell me a little bit about your guys' process with all these wines that you have there. Right, so you know our our process with the wine is you know we're going to purchase grapes from all around the world. So we uh, source a lot from Northern California, Washington State, and then we also go international with our wines as well. Um, so we're going to source some of those grapes internationally, and then we're going to take it into our our facility in Chicago, and we're going to produce those wines um, for our guests there. I, I love, love it. it. Okay, let's go from now the wine to the food and the dining here, because as we said. You guys actually make the dishes uh, from yeah. the wine. Yeah, let's go this way otherwise. and we'll, we'll check out the food. So as we're walking in this direction, we do also have a full bar. So for anyone that's Beautiful. you know not necessarily into that wine or doesn't want to you know check it out with their significant other, they do have that ability um, to do full service wine. Yeah. Then as we walk this direction, we also have our barrel reserve, which our Barrel Reserve is our, our winemaker's proprietary blend, which is always going to evolve with different grapes. Um, and, and that's going to change over the seasons. And we bottle that once a year for our, our wine club members. Yeah. Ooh. How big is this place? Because usually when you have a wine winery restaurant, they're kind of like small, mm -hmm. intimate a little bit. But I love this because then more people can come and it's enjoy really themselves. big, yeah. So, yeah, oh, a, got, nice, a nice big right. space. Right, uh, but look bit. at this Are you back food. on there? Yeah, this Edmund? is amazing. All right, have Evan tell us about the food. I don't think he can hear us right now. So yeah. have him go through All right, the food. All right, so starting here, you know, left to right, we're going to have our our drunken shrimp. Um, that drunken <sighs> shrimp's going to be made with a little bit of tequila butter sauce. It's going to be wrapped in bacon, a little bit of guacamole underneath that, sprinkled with a little pico de gallo over the top. Oh, um, then from there, amazing. we're going to have... Our flatbread. So one nice thing about Cooper's Hawk is not only do we have a extensive dinner menu, but we're also going to have um, a lunch menu as well, where you mm. can pair some of the solids with the flatbreads to kind of help uh, switch it up and, and have a multitude of options. Then we're going to go into our trio medallion. So it's a blend of uh, blue cheese, Parmesan, horseradish crush over the top with some Mary's potatoes and asparagus and a little steak chew with that. Um, and then we're going to go into our gnocchi carbonara. So the gnocchi carbonara has got some nice pancetta chicken, a ricotta-based gnocchi um, that's made for us by the Ramazzi family. Um, 
in Chicago. And then we've got a nice, fresh um, key lime pie. So when we talk about desserts for the summertime. Um, this is, this all looks amazing. Desserts for the summertime, like this is going to be nice, fresh, rich. It's got um, key lime in there, a little bit of lemon juice that's going to help cut through some vanilla sauce. And then some house-made whipped cream on top as well. So, it, it, Edmund, can you hear us now? I know it, you lost us for a second. Can you hear us now? No? 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 no. Okay. So right. we're well, going to try to wrap up really quick. Yep. If they get, if, um, tell Matt. And then a little oh. bit of what we talked about earlier, right, is our, our bin numbers that we have for our wine and food pairings oh, okay, as well. Great. So um, what you can see here are the wines that are paired perfectly with these dishes, right? So we talked about the tasting room where you go through and you get your bin numbers. Um, and then from there, you're going to choose your dish, right, that we curate specifically for that bin number. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so Edmund, awesome. thank you. Yeah. I know so Edmund <laughs> our location, we open uh, Monday on go. the 8th. Our location is 2290 South Santan uh, Village Parkway. And like I said, we open on Monday the 8th, 11 a.m. Uh, if you want to make a reservation, you can go to our website at chwinery.com, or you can call the restaurant as well. That's thank so you. perfect. He can't oh, hear us, but thank you. He can't thank, hear us, but that's okay. We got you. all the information. Yeah, that's it looks awesome. amazing. I know what I'm putting my order in for oh, lunch. I already day. know. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> looks so, fantastic. I don't, you,